Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to clear cash. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe Premiere Pro, I want you to click the free trial option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Clearing the cash in Adobe Premiere Pro is a simple process that can help improve the performance and free up space on your system. All right, so clearing media cache from Premiere Pro depending on what you are using, if you're using the Windows or Premiere Pro, which is on the Mac, all right? I want you to hover to the edit section on the top left corner. And then there is an option that says preferences, and I want you to click the media cache. Now from here, it's kind of easy. All I have to do is click this box right here that save.cfa and .pek media cache file next to original media files when possible. All right. And from here, all I have to do is click the remove media cache files. All right. If we do that, what will happen is it will be deleted right here. Media delete cache files. And all I have to do is delete the unused media cache files. But you have to remember that deleting all media cache files deletes all the cache files from the current location. Deleted cache files will be recreated automatically whenever your source media requires from them. To use this option, we start Premiere Pro and select the prior to opening any project. It's kind of easy. All we're going to do is click on OK. But in this video, I'm not going to delete uh, the cache because I'm still working on some files for the next uh, topics and tutorials. But all I have to do is click this OK and the media cache or the cache files here for your projects in media uh, Adobe Media here will be deleted. It's kind of really straightforward process. Now, another option that you can do is click the uh, go to the settings that says go to file to the top right corner and click the project settings click the scratch desks what will happen is it will be forwarded to the section all right now here you can adjust the location for your cache and media files you can change the location or delete files directly from this tab as well now after clearing the cache the next thing that you need to do is to restart the premiere pro to ensure the settings takes effect and to see if there's any improvement in performance Clearing cache periodically helps with the system performance, especially when working with large video files or multiple projects, especially if you're working with a collaborative environment, you're working with a client or with other team members. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.